Yo, what up, what up? Yo. Whatever happened to reach it, man? Whatever happened to reach it? I know they just didn't rob me. I placed an order for something, man. And I know I'm not thinking what I'm thinking. Just can't be. Can't be true. Maybe I'm overanalyzing and over-exaggerating like I do. You know, maybe I'm jumping to conclusions. Let me tell you what happened. So, Travis from Australia, he's he has a great mind. He's a mastermind, right? So, he showed me this Wagtail applicator, right? And he had a Reach It rinse bar on there, one of the older ones. And it had a flow like, I mean, it was nice, man. It had a nice flow. And um, it was fairly simple what he showed me. I've snuck that little clip of what he shared because he said it was okay. And I snuck that in the little clip in one of my videos. I don't think anyone picked that up. It, it, it was like pew, right over their head, right? But that little clip uh, can open some doors for some who see the potential in something like that. So uh, needless to say, I had some ideas, right? I said, I don't own any reach and rinse bars, nor do I have any laying around. So I was so intrigued and, uh, you know, thankful that he shared that with me. So I... I took the liberty of <laughs> buying those rinse bars, you know? I even bought extras because I was planning on doing some other things that I had an idea for, right? So I placed my order. I'm not going to go and get the exact date, although I probably should because I want to know for myself, but it has to be at least almost, a, nah, I say about three weeks, maybe even a month, I'm not sure, all right, now, Reach It has actually sent me some prototypes when, uh, after I got my original designs, and I was one of the first ones to get one, and from Richie Blue and the Gunslinger, right? Back then, it was called the tip jar, and it was black and yellow. That was the only first type that he made before he even publicized it. <clears throat> he sent one out as a thank you. I guess he felt as though maybe he wanted to return the favor because I've done some things for Richie in the past, and uh, he more than made up for it. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> and... Uh, I was the very first person he blessed. Uh, I'm sorry I gave that away in a contest now. He's probably, maybe that's why I don't hear from him, because he's probably upset about that. That how could I give that away? Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought of helping somebody more than actually thinking about maybe it may have made the other person feel like I was looking a gift horse in the mouth, so to speak. But uh, that's water under the bridge, man. <clears throat> if that guy is using it to this day, then I made somebody, uh, I made somebody's day, man. I, I contribute, I helped out, I gave my 10%, like they say, give 10%, doesn't say in the form of money, in the form of gratitude and from the heart, man. You know, uh, you give the gift of helping somebody. That could be your 10%. You're, you're doing what God's will. So, you know, you're keeping a consistent flow. So I got a couple of the... Uh, matter of fact, I got a gunslinger. It's a shorty. And that's exactly what it's called. It's called the shorty. I was so upset, even though I didn't pay nothing for it, I made a review about it, and it wasn't very nice. I'll put it that way. 
but I'm going to speak what's on my mind. And I think that's what people can respect, the originality and the sincerity in my videos. And I don't rehearse. I don't pre-screen my videos. So I, te I tell it to you in its natural state. You know, there is no candy coating involved. So I said some things. Yeah. Okay. And uh, now nah, needless to say, Reach don't even talk to me no more. So they probably said, <laughs> okay, that's Marcus placing the order. <laughs> well, he just asked out. <laughs> Maybe they robbed my ass. I don't know. But it's been three weeks. I still don't have my item. And check this out. What makes matters worse? I think, I think, uh, Reach it is going down the crap hole. I don't even hear from them. I haven't even heard anything about them lately. You know, I haven't even heard anybody talking about them. Which makes me believe that they're going into a different avenue. Because last time I checked, they were talking about mask and foggy and, I mean, all types of crazy shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like worse than what they say, what us Americans say. Man, you like a Jamaican with all the different jobs you have. You know, they like a goddamn Jamaican with all the different businesses they're trying to get into. You know, anything for a fast buck, I guess. I don't know. But right now, I'm not very happy. Why? Because I got an email about less than a week ago asking me what I think about the goddamn rent bars. <laughs> It would be nice if I actually had them. They took the money, all right? They took the money. As of now, I don't have a product to work with, all right? So right now, <clears throat> I'm going to share what's going to happen next because maybe some of you ain't going to like it, and I'm not going to like it, but I'm not going to sit there and let anybody just take my money and run. Like I said, maybe I'm overanalyzing and overreacting. Maybe it's nothing. But why would they send me an email asking me what I think about the product when I don't even have it, right? Okay, so something's wrong with that. Why did they take my money? So something's wrong with that picture. And if this is how they are treating customer service and, and people that order from them, man, they're going to have a whole slew of problems on their hand. <laughs> you know? You think my video is doing something now, <clears throat> and I'm sharing. <laughs> Trust me, it may not mean much to whoever, but all I got to know, the ones that do mean something, they're not going to place no damn order because they don't want to go through this, what I'm going through. Anybody in their right mind, if, if I tell y'all what I'm going through and I don't like it, what makes you think that you're going to place an order and you're going to like it? And if you do, then you're just happy-go-lucky. And, and I feel sorry for you. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. If you don't mind and you actually don't care, then you a fool. You a fool. Where's my shit? Excuse my friends. Where's my stuff, man? Where's my stuff? Uh, that was my little rant. But yeah, man. Uh, order for Reach It or don't. I don't care. But this is the last time I'm ordering anything from that company. Uh, right now, I'm not impressed. I was impressed when uh, he sent those prototypes out within two days it got to me. You know, I've never placed an order with Reach It ever. I've only, oh, well, no, that I can't lie. I did place an order for the second Bigfoot, right? Which I like, and I still use to this day. And it's holding up. It's not leaking either. I paid $15. That was the shipping and handling of the thing, or whatever it was. I It was something like that, and he paid the rest. That was the only thing, and it came in like two days, man. It blew my mind. I was blown away. Maybe he did that special. And now that I'm thinking about it, 
I'm thinking that's exactly what happened. Because it don't make no goddamn sense why I'm waiting almost a month to get a product that they claim I have and want to know what it's like. Outrageous. Marvelous. Simply marvelous, darling. I ain't, trust me, I'm not going down with a fight. I want to know where my money at. Give it back to me. I want it. Either that or give me my goddamn rinse bars. That's all I'm saying. That's just my rant. This is Masters at Wagtail, and I'm out of here.